Hello. Well, we're in part two of granny horse training. And, well, really, I should just make this a separate one. This is about equine metabolic syndrome. Maybe you can notice this, that she has kind of a fat, crusty neck. And she only gets eat, fed hay and hay pellets, hoof supplement. Um, and she's on free choice hay, so out of a slow feed bag. Oh, and I want to show you her butt. Stand. She's got fat pockets right here, kind of dimpled butt right here. That's a sign of a horse that's metabolic and fat. She's starting to develop a fat pad right here also, right behind the shoulder. And she's got, you can feel, and a little shape to it too, of a crest on the neck. She's only three years old. She's showing the signs that she's going to be a metabolic horse. If I put her out to graze grass on pastures that have been improved by having sheep, and there's tons of clover out here, it will make her have foot problems. It'll make her have laminitis. And that's a problem. So she's very lucky. She's got beautiful feet. She's never found her. And she's standing very nicely, isn't she? Um, and I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, she's got the track system. She's got this. And I work with her. And we'll be doing more and more as time goes along. And she gets better and better behavior. Um, and we'll go out and do more things. Um, so she's going to have a full life, but it's not going to involve eating grass. That'll turn her metabolic and tip the scales to insulin resistance. We already see the preliminary signs on her body by her body type. So thanks for watching. That was a quick premiere to equine metabolic syndrome. If you want to know more, you should go to the equine uh, insulin resistance and Cushing's disease uh, website. Forgot that. Oh, it's got such a weird acronym. I can't remember it now. But you can go to my website, or you can contact me, and I'll tell you what it is. Because the only thing we have for laminitis is prevent it in the first place. Because once they've got it, and once they've foundered, there's no going back. And once they've damaged their coffin bone, whoop, there's no going back. So this is the face of what a metabolic horse looks like. We can't tell which or which without paying attention to their body types. Um, and there's other reasons for laminitis, like retained placentas and vaccinosis from a vaccine reaction or getting um, being fed corticosteroids for medical conditions like heaves. But, so there are other things. But thanks for watching. This is Granny Horse Training, just a little bit of horse health knowledge. Bye now.